Reset 3D includes code-defined load combinations for a variety of regions, including the United States, Canada, Europe, and India. Even though these automatically generated combination sets exist in the software, there are occasions when users want to create some type of custom combinations or want to incorporate a code-based load combination set that Reset 3D currently doesn't have. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create custom load combination sets using Excel and Reset 3D. So in this particular case, I have a Risa 3D model. It's a tower model. So maybe it's a power transmission tower or something like that. And if I open up load combinations, we can see I don't have anything. Now I could certainly go ahead and add some manual load combinations uh, just by clicking here and, and typing it in. Or I could go ahead into the LC generator. And here we can see those regions that I talked about and the codes that are automatically included. And so I could pick one of those codes. But in this case, I actually want to add a new code that's gonna exist in this dropdown here in the United States region. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close those out. And I'm gonna to navigate to then the location of where these load combination spreadsheets are located. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that tab here real quick. And so this is the location uh, on my particular computer. And so it's in the documents RISA folder under the load combinations folder. And so here you can see the different codes that we've incorporated and talked about. But here at the bottom, we can see I have the US code. That is the uh, 3D version. Then we have the US underscore FD, and then US underscore RF. Those are the foundation and the floor kind of code sets. Now, in this particular case, you'll notice that these are XML documents. So the first time that you go to make a modification to one of these, you may need to right click and choose open with Excel so that it's opened as a spreadsheet rather than just maybe a text file. And so if I go ahead and launch that, I'll see here at the bottom the different tabs that represent the different codes that exist within that particular region. I'll also go ahead and see um, the layout of a particular code. So in this case, we've got the label, the whether or not it's solved by default, whether P delta is on, what materials it's being solved for, and then the basic load case and the factor associated with that basic load case. Now, in this case, we could choose a simple basic load case, one, two, three, or we could use a load category. In this case, you know, for instance, I'm using dead load as my first load category. Now, this particular syntax, the way that this is kind of laid out here, is the same for every load combination. It's the way that you would have to lay out the syntax of this particular spreadsheet so that Risa 3D can recognize it appropriately as a load combination set. Now, in this case, I want to create something completely new. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to choose to copy. And I'll say I want to create a copy and click OK. And it went ahead and it copied it right here at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and just change the name of this. And so we're gonna create a load combination set specifically for that type of tower. And so I'm gonna create one out of the TIA-222-H and we'll call it strength level. And this is the code for uh, the standard for antenna supported structures. And so I've got that code set now. Now I'm gonna obviously delete out these labels and let's start by, uh, I'll delete out these uh, factors and stuff like that. And we'll go ahead and leave right now these solve on and off until we figure out how many combinations we have. So now I can actually go ahead and start adding the combination information. So I'm going to say here, TIA-222-H, and this is going to be set combination set one. And if I come all the way over to BLC, in this particular case from this code, I've got dead load with a factor of 1.2. And then I've got wind load with a factor of 1.6. And so that's my first combination within that set that I wanted to create. Now in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and create four more. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of put this on super speed so that, you know, we're not spending time just watching me type here. Now when adding the load combinations, one thing we want to make sure of is either using the basic load case number, so one, two, three, four, or if we're going to go ahead and use categories, using the proper load category notation that's being used in the software. And so this entire list of load categories can be found in our help file. Now, once the load combination has been created, we can then go ahead and save this file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. And I'm basically overwriting my current US version of load combinations. So I'll keep it in that format. Yes, I wanna save it. Now, if I go ahead and navigate, I'm gonna close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and close Risa 3D, and then I want to reopen it. So with the load combinations created, we can now go back into the Risa 3D model that we were working in. So back into this tower model, and I'm going to go into load combinations. 
and choose the load combinations generator. And so here, you know, we could create our load combination. So if we look at our set here, we now have that load combination set that exists. And so in this particular model, I only have dead load and wind load. So I'm gonna just choose to create a wind load set. I'll choose X and Z and I can click generate. And so now the system has generated for me the appropriate load combinations based on what I had created in uh, the Excel spreadsheet. And now I have that load combination set built so that I can use it on a variety of models. And so I can basically expand the functionality of Risa 3D through use of that spreadsheet. For more information about utilizing load cases and combinations in Risa 3D, as well as other useful tips and tricks, please visit risa.com.